Dear sisters and brothers, welcome to reflect the gospel of the 28th Sunday in ordinary time in year C. This Sunday we are reflecting from the gospel of Luke chapter 17 verses 11 to 19. On his way to Jerusalem between the territory of Galilee and Samaria, Jesus healed 10 lepers. These ten lepers stood in a distance from Jesus and cried out, How mercy, Master, how mercy upon us! At the time of Jesus, the lepers were not allowed to come closer to other people. As we read in the book of Leviticus, they were segregated. They had to stay away from the other people. And Jesus told these ten lepers, Go and show yourself to the priests, which means they were healed. To testify that they had, they were healed, they had to show themselves to the priests, as it is written in the book of Leviticus. On their way, they found out that they were healed. And one of them, a Samaritan, he came back to Jesus to thank him. And he prostrated before Jesus and thanked him. And Jesus asked him, Were not ten made clean? Where are the other nine? Only this Samaritan came to thank. There were ten lepers made clean, but only this Samaritan found salvation. We saw in the gospel that these ten lepers addressed Jesus as master. They did not call him son of God or son of David. In the previous chapters of Luke, we saw that Jesus were teaching and he taught, taught the people through parables and he was known as a master. Now, this Samaritan, by thanking the Lord, he comes to know Jesus more deeper through his faith that he understood him as the Messiah. More than the master, he realizes that Jesus is the true Messiah, the Savior. He comes to the faith. He comes to salvation. The ten were healed, but only one was saved. And Jesus told him, your faith has healed you. Jesus appreciated this Samaritan who thanked him. And he was saddened by the attitude of the other nine who did not show the gratitude. Gratitude is a beautiful virtue. Often parents teach their children to thank when they receive gifts from other people. They teach them to say thank you often. It is a beautiful tradition to say thank you. In United States, there is a day to thank, the Thanksgiving Day, a beautiful celebration. In this Sunday, let us Cultivate in ourselves the attitude of gratitude. Let us examine how often we thank others. How often we thank God. In order to develop the sentiment of gratitude in us, it is good to write down every day a journal to recall all that we have received 
from morning to evening. We need to write it down in detail. What were the graces that we have received in this day from other people, from God? Secondly, to cultivate the, the sentiment of gratitude in us is also good to thank everyone. To say the word thank you often as we can. And also to thank the Lord. We know that we receive everything from the Lord and therefore take a moment at the end of the day to say thank you to the Lord. Eucharist is a moment of thanksgiving. Every Sunday or every day when we go to the Eucharist we can thank the Lord. The Lord has given us everything and we need to thank Him. Sisters and brothers, Jesus appreciated this attitude of the Samaritan, the Samaritan leper who thanked Him. Jesus was also being pained by the attitude of the other nine who did not care to say thank you. Let us thank the Lord often as we can for all that we are, for all that we have. Let us thank the Lord. This Samaritan leper, through thanks, thanking the Lord, found salvation, found Jesus by offering our thanksgiving, by through our gratitude, we too can come to salvation, we too can acknowledge the blessings that we have received in our life. The important point in this gospel is the faith. Through the faith they were healed and by expressing, by acknowledging the blessings that they have received, they came to, that man came to the salvation. Let us also have this attitude in us and let us thank the Lord always at every moment as St. Paul tells us. Friends, be sharers of the word of God by sharing this video to one or two of your friends. God bless you.